I can finally uh, say that all those rumours are true. So we do have Elise Perry. I'm pleased to say um, it's a great addition to our squad. Obviously, she's she's made a huge impact for Australia over the last three years for all the successes they've had. Um, she's the leading ICC um, T20 all-rounder. Um, so she will offer something opening the bowl in, but also as, as a powerful batter. So yeah, very pleased Elise will be joining us. Um, second, we have Danae van Neerkirk. Um, she obviously is coming from South Africa, um, has had a very good 2016 starting off against England um, in February. Um, also bowls some uh, leg spin as well, so it's great that we're going to have that power up top as an opening batter, but also can offer some very good leg spin, which is important for our T20 campaign. And then we've got Sophie Devine, who's a, a natural athlete, has played you know high level um, hockey as well as cricket. Um, she was a leading wicket taker in the recent T20. Uh, competition um, but also it is a very powerful batter that w w should shine in our top order so as balance looking to what we've already got from an England players I'm really really pleased with what we've uh, been assigned I think you know look, looking at the players we have and then uh, hopefully once we get our county ID players as as any host I think the ambition is to make it to finals day um, and obviously adapt them, but we've got to make sure that we take each game as it comes. We need to have a really good uh, two-week pre-season when we've got all our players together and making sure that we know each other's roles and plans, um, which will be a challenge in the time frame that we've got. But if we're able to, to deal with that, um, hopefully finals day will be upon us.